we want a gain of four volts per volt and we're using this configuration right here which has two n-type MOSFETs stacked on top of each other. Um, and we are using these basic parameters for my NMOS, but we can adjust the W over L. Okay, so in order to start off, we want to start by getting our key equations. Now we're designing for gain, so our key equation is going to be our gain equation. So we the basic equation is for a common uh, source amplifier is A is equal to minus GMRD, where the RD is basically the Thevenin, well really it's in parallel with our RO. So that's going to be the Thevenin resistance scene looking up this direction in parallel with the Thevenin resistance scene looking down this direction. So looking up to there, that has a Thevenin resistance of 1 over GM2, and this is RO. So you see my gain is going to be equal to minus GM1 for my bottom transistor times 1 over GM2 of my top transistor in parallel with RO. The RO become, is negligible compared to the 1 over GM2, so my gain is equal to minus GM1 over GM2. Now we plug in the equation for the GM1 and the GM2 and I get 2 KP1 ID over 2 KP2 ID. Since they're in series they both have the same current. So then we see that these all cancel off and we are left with A is equal to kp1 over kp2 square root and we want that equal to 4 so when we're all done we get the equation of kp1 has to be equal to 16 kp2 so that's my base equation. Now we just need to bias it. Well, biasing it, there's no resistors. So what we have to do is we have to bias it by controlling the voltages and the current since there is a lambda. So if I look right here, here is the equation as a function of VDS of ID. So what we end up getting is we end up getting a curve that looks like this. So this is active and this part here is triode. In order to get this to work we have to make sure that we maintain this in active. So as we and then if I get different VGSs and different KPs you see I'm going to get these different equations that look like this. And so this is with different VGs or uh, KPs. So let's look at what the equation is for our top transistor. So ID is equal to 1 half KP2 times VGS minus VTO squared times 1 plus lambda BDS. So let's plug in all of these. So we have 1 half KP2 now if I look at my circuit, my gate is tied to the 1.8 volts and my source is the V out. So this is going to be equal to 1.8 minus V out minus VTO squared, 1 plus lambda. And then I look at my VDS, that's again going to be my 1.8 minus my V out. So this is going to be equal to 1.8 minus V out. Now we want to kind of center this approximately in the middle, so we're just going to pick the V out to be 0.9. So we have 1 half Kp2 times 1.8 minus 0 0.9 minus 0. Point, we have a V of 0.5. And then my lambda 
is we have a VA of 5, so 1 over 5 is my lambda. So this is 0 0.2 times 1.8 minus 0 0.9. So what you see here is the only unknown is my KP2, so then I can solve for that. Uh, so what do we want my current to be? So we want, you see right here, that we want one milliwatt. So we have power is equal to V dd times ID, so two times 10 to the minus three is equal to 1.8 times ID. So ID equals, was it one? Oh, one milliwatt. Which is equal to one divided by 1.8, which is equal to 0 0.56 milliamps. So we plug all that in here. And then let's see what, so all this comes out to 0 0.1888. So we have our KP, which would be approximately equal to 0.1888. So we get a KP approximately equal to is approximately equal to 5.9 milli. Okay, so now let's just start with our first transistor and go get that all working over in LT Spice. So we come over here to LT Spice. Here is our basic circuit. So you see we have these two end MOSs. Well, when we first start off, we're just going to start with our top MOSFET to get it to work first. Okay, so we're gonna come in here and we want this to produce a voltage of 0 0.9. So I'm going to copy this down. And fix this at 0 0.9 volts. And so what we're trying to do is if I fix this at 0 0.9 volts, I'm trying to get the right current going through it. So I am going to come in here. We're going to start with the top one, which is NMOS2. And we're just going to sweep my KP. Okay, so then we're going to do a dot step param. We're going to be varying k. And we want it to be around 5.9 milli. So let's go from 5 milli to 7 milli, 0 0.01 milli. Okay. And then we're going to run this. Okay, so this ran wrong. I noticed that I had the lambda in wrong. This is 0.2 for lambda. VTO was 0.5 and then the KP. Okay, let's go back and check all of those parameters. So we have the KP we're adjusting, the threshold of 0.5 and the VA is five, which means the lambda is one over five. Okay, so now we are going to run this. Okay, and we want a current of 0.56. And so 5.9 milli, that's really close to what we had before. Okay, 
to what we calculated. 5.9 milli. Okay, so now what we want to do is now we want to tack on our other transistor. So let's move this stuff out of the way. So then we're going to copy our transistor down. Okay, 5.9. And so we're going to come in and we're going to go 5.9 times 16. So 94.4. Milla. That's the 16 times higher. Okay. Oh, and we have to change that to NMOS1. Change this one to NMOS1. Okay. And now we're trying to bias this to be at the right point. So we're going to put in our bias voltage. So let's go back to our equation and see how, what our approximate should be. So now we're going to come in here and do this same thing for our uh, second MOSFET. So it should have the same current. Now the KP is going to be 94.4. And then we want VGS minus my threshold, which is 0.5 times 1 plus my lambda, which is 0 0.2, and I want my VDS to be 0 0.9. Okay, so then we're going to solve all of this for VGS to see about what it should be. So we get a VGS of about 0 0.6 volts. So this gives us our starting point. So now we're going to go over to LT Spice. We have this set up. We are varying our voltage. Um, so let's put in a new voltage source. And this one, just to try something different, this time what we're going to do is we're just going to do our pulse voltage to show how you could do that for voltages instead of doing a dot step parameter. So we wanted 0.6, so we're going to go from 0.51 just above cutoff, or yeah, the threshold to 0.7. And then we'll just take a second to ramp up. Okay, so then in this case, we're going to do a transient one for one second, which is our voltage sweep. Now, obviously, you could have done this with a dot step parameter like we did before, but we're just going to do it with this one instead. So you see here is our sweeping voltage, and then that causes this voltage here to change and sweep down. Okay. So let's put in, make this our gate voltage so that the, and again, we're sweeping the voltage and we're going to change this to V of my gate. And we wanted 0.9 volts. close there. Okay, and here's my 0.6 volts, just like I calculated, so everything is great. So we're going to put this in at my 0.6 volts. And now we're ready to add in our AC signal. So we will copy our source down.
And let's finish everything else up. So we wanted a 10 millivolt signal, one kilohertz, kilohertz, and then the one kilo ohm. So let's add in our resistor. For 1K, move these down a little bit. And this is RV in, so we want a sine wave, zero. And let's see, was that peak to peak or not peak? That was an amplitude of 10 millivolts. So this is 10 millivolts, one kilohertz. Okay, and then we're gonna plug wire all this together. And so we see here is our voltage. This should be 20 millivolts peak to peak. So there's my 20 millivolts peak to peak. I look at my output. And I'm getting 74 millivolts. We wanted to gain a four. So we're off a little bit. So we need a little bit higher gain. So my gain is going to be the GM times the GM. So what we're going to do is we just have to start increasing this just a little bit. So we go up to five, rerun this. Go up to seven, rerun this. No, we gotta go higher. So let's go up to 100 milli. and 10 milla. Okay, so now we're about at the 80. And we're still centered. We're off a little bit. Now it's 0.86, but that's close enough to our 0.9 volts, and we call this good. So if we wanted to fine-tune this a little bit more, we can come back and rechange this bias point to get the voltages to work out. Let's see what our currents are. Our currents are about 0.56, so we're off a little bit, but we could go back and tweak that if we wanted. And we're off by a little bit, so we would have to come back and retweak these KPs to get them to work out, but this is good enough.